Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the first episode of the Basic Trouble podcast. And today's topic is. As you probably guessed, today's topic, or as you probably read, today's topic is going to be all about memes. Meme music, music that got turned into memes, moments in music videos that got turned into memes, and the whole thing. Okay. Okay, Nirupama, to start off with, do you think meme music is actually its own genre? And if it is, how does it rank other genres of music? Uh, I think meme music is probably a combination of the most iconic songs we've had over a couple of years. And yeah, uh, it's definitely a genre itself. Uh, we've got a couple of rock songs, a lot of pop songs, and a lot of medium songs. So I would definitely classify it as a genre. About its ranking? I think me music is the kind of music you listen to when you're in a really good mood or I don't know, you just want to laugh for a bit. Yeah, yeah probably that. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite I'd meme song? My favorite? Oh, that's difficult. Uh, there's this one song where there's a cowboy who's just screaming at the at the top of his voice. Which one? Is it the animated one? Uh, He-Man? No, no, uh, no, no, it's, a, it's, it's like, it's a, it's like, it's, it's in like rural America and he's just singing and then it just slowly cuts to this cowboy, yeah, like this massive cowboy, like he's as big as a mountain. Right? Oh, and wait, 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 you mean the guy holding in the grocery screaming. store, right? So apparently he is a well-known Austri- Australian artist called Jimmy Barnes. With, with this entire song, this just this cowboy that just appears like a god in the sky, and his entire <laughs> contribution to the song is just screaming at the top. Yeah, of yeah. His apparently, voice. I was just I was just reading about this, and he says, uh, "Why? Okay, you, what took him from?" a uh, serious music career to screaming into the clouds is uh, the part of why that we may never hear the answer because he said he screamed like a banshee when he was asked to lend his voice. He screamed at a banshee? He screamed like a banshee. Ah, ah okay. okay. <laughs> That's such a weird term. Man. Like if you're making serious music and then it's just like, yeah, you know, like something happened and now I just scream into a mic. I actually think Rick Astley wanted to make real serious music. And he, no, but like he has, like uh, for his age, he had like a really deep uh, voice. He was an 18 year old who sounded like somebody who was 60. Yeah, he, he sounded even, even like. Even Careless a, Whispers for that reason. Yeah. Careless Whisper was a big song back in the day. I think it is it's still a big song. Of its, yeah. It's gotten even bigger because of its. Uh, Meme status, but it was like a good song on its own. Yeah, but, I think uh, even, even Never Gonna Give You Up was a good song on its own. Yeah, but I don't think it was like a famous song. Like, like it wasn't like a super hit on its own. It just became an amazing hit because of memes, because of the entire yeah. like meme culture. And I think and the Deadpool uh, bag followed along that, right? Deadpool bag, it was this used in Deadpool? Yeah, yeah, this was, this was. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Cool. Deadpool, Deadpool 1. Deadpool was a banger of a movie though. Oh, yeah. That was a good movie though. Yeah. Came out of nowhere, but it was amazing. Mm-hmm. It's like one of the few movies in that entire Marvel saga that I follow. Oh, my God. I like Marvel so much. How do you go? I just follow a few movies. Yeah, same. I don't I don't understand the, the 
this thing the but i i sort of understand it i mean yeah sort of anyway uh, getting back to meme music what's your favorite one uh meme song okay so this is uh, a version of heart will go on oh i think the lion sleeps tonight will be my favorite meme song which one the lion sleeps tonight ah yeah yeah, yeah. that one yeah 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 that is a good one and um I love the uh, mashup of that song with friends. Oh, there is a mashup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh, that scene where uh, uh, Ross's monkey plays the um, CD player. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched that episode. I really like the Nine Cat song though. Yeah, that that one reminds me of uh, 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 Carmela Danson, which is like a Swedish song again, like the uh, EDM style only. Actually, there's this one song called "Bring Me to Life" by yeah. Evanescence. That yeah. is a meme song, apparently. Is it? Yeah, yeah, that's a meme song. Hmm. Like, I, I am a fan of that band, by the way. So, so like. Oh, I like that band. I never I knew this one. Band. Oh yeah, but I guess that. save me but could be a meme like a proper meme yes Reviews. that and uh, the beginning uh, of it is kind of a meme which one the beginning of the song oh the uh, uh, wake me up part hmm yeah ha uh, cool cool mm-hmm. no, but uh, about the uh, nyan cat apparently it was made as as a part of a school project oh that song yeah and now is like one of the biggest meme songs in the entire world mm mm-hmm. that's interesting there's this uh, you know john denver's like... uh, take me home country road right yeah that is a meme song apparently yeah Dude, that is used in like every like awkward uh, family portrait ever because it's like country roads alabama definitely something wrong with this family <laughs> That song is is used in every like awkward family photo, awkward family situation everywhere. No, oh, I've I've never seen that as a context, but that's a good song. Yeah. What's your favorite song from the two thousands? Let's start, let's go by each decade. Your favorite song from the two thousands that became okay. a meme. Um, two thousand. What songs were released back then? <laughs> Dude, ago, it's no. bring me to life. Bring me to life. Bring me to life. Yeah. Ah, nice. What about yours? Mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you remember there was this uh, uh, Soulja Boy song called uh, Crank That? Ah, okay. I don't know why. You know, there's cool. this uh, one version of uh, My Heart Will Go On from the Titanic, and then yeah, um, where he's playing it on a on a flute or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it starts it starts normal, and then they just distort the voice and. Oh okay you heard astronomy right i was telling you about this yesterday yeah yeah
that meme is wonderful like that meme is golden by itself oh yeah uh, have you seen the picture doing uh, uh, rounds on the internet where it's like a, a picture of a, a, a egyptian tomb like the the inside the the walls of the uh, egyptian tomb and it's similar to this it's a picture of four uh, black guys holding up a coffin oh yeah are they dancing oh, yeah i don't know if they're dancing but they're holding up a coffin <laughs> just like this one as like oh no but side this by is side. beautiful dude like so apparently yeah. it's this group in ghana who dances around and that that meme is beautiful so but like that meme has like become a part of everything like every situation that goes bad it's just that you know even if it doesn't go bad it's still a part of it you know like like the build up they give with like going over each of the person's face and like that music so the song's called astronomia hmm. and the build up they give is so wonderful it's like okay by the time something actually bad happens you're laughing already yeah yeah Oh, There's this uh, one song amazing. called Oh, you would have heard this dude, um, Africa by Toto. Oh yeah, of course. Yes. Oh, uh, talking about Africa, uh, there's a version of it. It was on a panel show where there's this comedian called uh, uh, Ramesh Anganathan, where mm-hmm. he turned Africa into uh, Lynx Africa by Toto, and uh, Lynx Africa is like a, a, a deodorant brand. <laughs> Wings Africa <laughs> You think it's the song Links Africa. Links Africa Yeah that top You know top that, that song it goes I wore deodorants called Links Africa <laughs> Yeah Yeah My taint is smelly I use Links Africa <laughs> My Gucci is tangy links <laughs> Chelsea what did you get from that Oh uh, okay I thought it was really that. funny Something Talking really about um uh, memes in music there was this one Super Bowl performance in uh, 2015 where Katy Perry oh, yeah. performed that teenage dream song Have you heard of that Uh no not really Okay so basically um what happens is there are two sharks dancing around her and the shark left to <laughs> does not know yeah. what to do that was the funniest ever and he so the background dancer is forever no one is left shark now i was watching a video oh, of this yeah. a couple of days ago and dude it was too good was there ever like any more uh, info on that guy like was that like a new dancer who just arrived Had he just done? Uh, I know. I mean, like, how could you go to the Super Bowl without possibly doing anything? Like, you're dancing behind somebody who's performing in the halftime show, and you don't know what you're doing at all. Like, you're just standing. Have they done like some sort of like sponsor thing? They're just like, yeah, like we're sponsored yeah, like, okay, by this company, stage, so we just throw on two, <laughs> just throw on two sharks on stage. Yeah, I don't, no I don't know why there were sharks in the first place, and I do not know why one of the sharks did not know what to do at all. No, but Katy Perry itself has has become like a meme now. Her her entire like music videos after that thing have all been really good. Yeah, I've yeah, like the, never listened to too much of her. No, her like 2018 song, I think it's it's like this like weird. Okay, imagine like a a high school. basketball game but like on acid on acid this is just so weird like i don't know what's happening ever since that performance her entire like music career has just gone weird man yeah i haven't heard of her in like a very long while either hmm and always with like uh, taylor swift if she ever does come up Oh uh, yeah 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 they they used to keep coming together no i i just always linked those two and then it was ariana grande yeah yeah hmm that's interesting i don't know why i kept oh actually john cena's theme song my oh, time now oh that's so good it's so good Look, john cena itself is like a meme man is it the, yeah, john the entire cena is a meme nobody denies that yeah like he, dude First of all, like his, you can't see anything. Now he is also like completely aware of it. Every video online, 
he constantly mentions uh, he constantly like predicts the comments who's this guy with stephen colbert like it's a why is stephen colbert talking to uh, play yeah player? yeah i, I think john cena is like a wonderful name yeah superbly aware and 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 uh, do you know the uh, back story of that uh, you can't see me thing no so his uh, brother was uh, uh, listening to music and uh, when a particular song came on he put his hands in front of his face and just started bopping oh and because he thought that was cool and then john cena just took that and just hmm. put it into his like uh, in ring stuff See, i wouldn't trust me. anything you say about anybody from wwe okay cuz <laughs> cuz you wrote you transcripted all of these uh, lyrics and you submitted to a school magazine and they accepted it and they didn't even question you so you're not the person how do you know how do you know me transcripting it did not make them more famous in this country yeah people right people read that they're like wow wwe amazing we'll watch uh, it from this yeah that's exactly what happened like nobody knew of wwe i have given them this nick like, man you, you billion dollar guy give me 2 million advertising fees go ahead go ahead go ahead i'll ask you how it went in the next podcast I don't think he, dude. I don't think he'll give me any money at all. Is dude, all of his he companies are failing now. He paid money from you, dude. All of his companies are completely failing now. Dude. XFL course. failed again. WWE is failing again. Yeah, that that's because you're not them. transcribing their lyrics and posting it on school magazines. Why do you think that's happening? Exactly, exactly. Even Spook Man, give me more cash. I'll start doing it again. Of course, yeah. You should. You start doing it again, okay? Yeah. Coming back to topic, you heard All Star, right? Of course. Yes. All Star is like a proper meme song. It is. It is beautiful. And um, I heard um, Slipknot's um, uh, when Corey Taylor made a song with uh, Slash Mob. Did he? Wait, I, I'm I pretty sure that. I saw this. See, I, I wouldn't be, be very fun. surprised if that happened. Oh wow. Maybe I'm not sure but Cory Taylor made a song with somebody related to memes. I'm hoping I think it was Smash Mouth. I really hope it's Smash Mouth cuz I really built this up. Yeah, he made it with Jack Wild. Never mind. I keep thinking ah. that Why do I keep thinking that Smash Mouth? Similar sounding <laughs> I never said that. I just said I get confused. Smash mouth, Zack. I just said I get confused that time. No, dude. Like, I mean, um, the the thumbnail of that video also looks like uh, it kind of looks like something Smash Mouth would do, right? Like, I don't know. I'm not mm. so sure. It it just looks a little Smash Mouthy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. T- talking about me, uh, which is your favorite artist? that you started listening to after after you seen the music in a meme rick astley yeah it would definitely be rick astley <laughs> i go listen to that song on purpose also yeah like, that song is really nice to listen to yeah i think that's that's a beautiful and his song his voice also is really good rick astley's voice yeah i think yeah but i i feel like I don't know. Like I really like Toto too. Yeah. Toto Have you heard uh, Darude Sam's Sandstorm? Dude, it was everywhere. Which hmm. song is this? Sandstorm. Which song is this? Sandstorm. On every song, no matter what. Just I, Sandstorm everywhere. I actually everywhere. like that song. No, the the song is okay, but it was just annoying at the time, man. Cause yeah. you're trying to, cause you, cause you listen to a song on like a like a two-hour playlist there where there's like a thousand songs, and you're trying to get an answer like which song is this? The Root Sands song. Go ahead. <laughs> it looks like everybody's irritated with this. <laughs> I really feel like a lot this... of uh, songs on TikTok tend to become, um, you know, meme songs. Yeah, like TikTok is now the next big thing. 
it started with facebook then it Instagram. even before facebook there were things no yeah. there was like or you know, stuff like that even before dub smash before oh yeah you remember that dub right? smash was the original tiktok yeah yeah that was tiktok in like our days Which so dub smash is like, like we used to take like advertising dialogues and put it on dub smash. Yeah, yeah. And now it's all these I don't know these songs which end up becoming memes. Yeah, no, but like I it started with that. Then it went to Instagram. Then it went to Vine. Oh yeah, not... Vine was the six sec- six second videos, right? Yeah, yeah. Which is essentially what like TikTok is now, but like, TikTok is like. slightly longer than yeah. mine was yeah i think so it was probably that. a little more than that then it became uh, musically i believe no 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 it, then was, became no, no, no it was dub smash it was wine then dub smash then musical ly and then um, tiktok hmm oh yeah but, uh, by the way just slightly off topic have you seen the ads on tv for this new app called songstar which is similar to tiktok but it's like indian so so their entire ad is you sing into a camera and you become famous as their entire right ad. i think that's how tiktok works right except that you don't sing also yeah you just pretend to sing if you want to or you just do whatever else you were doing and you become famous which is sort of the entire internet you just pretend to be talented and you're famous yeah it reminds me of the podcast but okay <laughs> no we are talented sure 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 <laughs> in our own ways sure see you know who is talented smash mouth yeah no but smash mouth only had one song right which is big after that i haven't heard them at all it was the uh, all star one we are listening to the same song 20 21 years later so that you can say about almost any song dude hmm But I mean, yeah, that's that's a very iconic meme song. Even yeah. this um this one was uh, very famous. Friday by Rebecca Black. Yeah, but like like people will be listening to that twenty years from now, but not because it's iconic. It just sucks. Yeah, look, that's not iconic. That's not good. <laughs> that's a brain drain, though. That song is <laughs> so bad on so many levels. It look, it's not. That bad, okay. Are you kidding me? No, it's she bad. She's using auto tune, and she's still not able to maintain pitch after using auto tune also. That's how bad no, she's singing. No, but I mean, it's it's not that bad. It it still made her a lot of money. You go right now. Go to YouTube. Play that song again. I will take you my earphones for three minutes. You know what? You know what? Let's find out. Let let let's find out. <laughs> How much Rebecca Black make? I don't care how much she made. The song was so horrible. I think she made another song called Saturday. Yeah, she made twenty six thousand dollars. That's not much, Ida. Um, it's just especially for a song, it's not much. Oh no, it made thirty thousand in revenue with a cut of twenty thousand for Black, and racked up to two million purchases on iTunes. So there's a rumor that she made one million dollars. She has an estimated of net worth of one point two million dollars. What the hell? Yeah. Look, she's not talented, but I mean, she was good at whatever whatever she wanted to do. No, she wasn't good at whatever she wanted to, which is which but is why she still rich. made her a lot of money. Which is why fame sucks. Sure. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh man. Well, I Coming think that uh, this. this one with Baby Shark is a good meme though. Mm, yeah, but it's very addicting. Like as, no, as soon as it plays good. once. That song is plain repulsive. It it's repulsive but it gets stuck in your head. Like if I play that I have to play something I like otherwise it just be stuck in my head. Old Town Road is that way. No. Old Town you know, Road like, I Let, forget very easily. No, Billy Ray Cyrus used to make such beautiful songs. You remember that, um, dude? Uh, I only I only know him as uh, uh, Hannah Montana's dad. 
I did not realize he was an actual singer until I was an adult. Dude, there was he used to make such good country songs. Okay, I actually used to listen to him. Hmm. Wait. Uh, there's this beautiful song he made. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Aki Breaky Heart. I think that's also a meme song. Oh yeah. I love that song. Yeah. Dude, that song is nice. That song is so nice. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like a lot of country songs end up becoming memes. Okay, but from like uh, Florida Georgia Line to Johnny Cash, where would you rate him? Florida Georgia Line to Johnny Cash. Oh, dude. Okay, see, that's uh, I actually like Florida Florida Georgia Line. How? I like them. Oh They're my so god. They're so poppy. They are barely country, man. They are so pop. Dude. Yeah, they are pop. I never said they were a country band. You know, their their no, songs but, in like two thousand ten and all were really nice. Not two thousand ten. I think two thousand eleven. I don't remember those like older songs. I, I used to listen to only the older songs. Recent songs are so bad, man. Recent songs are so bad. No, yeah, because... yeah. The recent songs are probably bad, but like they they really old songs are nice too. That's the that's the case with most bands, man. Old songs are usually better. Yeah, I mean that's fair. But Johnny Cash was just like throughout his life. Johnny Cash reminded me. Um, uh, there's this song called "The Sound of Silence." You know, it goes "Hello, Dark" with my old friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. That Dude, became... um, this uh, um, Disturb made a, a cover version of it. It sounds really cool. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Uh... Oh, uh, wait. I think Simon and Garfunkel um, mm. recorded "Sound of Silence" first, right? Yes. Mm. They made the original yeah. one in the nineteen eighties, I believe. Disturbed covered it recently. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Recently, as in not like in the last year. That's the more famous one. No, no, no. The The older version is uh, more famous. This one is like way hardcore. Uh, Disturbs version. Oh, okay, like, okay. I heard. And... I mean, I remember the Hello Darkness, my old friend, and I'm like, hey, this sounds familiar, uh, so I went and listened to the song. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the old song, the uh, um, Simon and Garfunkel song. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I feel like Garfunkel also made like really good music. Has a couple of meme songs. I don't know why, but I just really feel like Guns N' Roses. Do they? I don't know. Like, Sweet Child of Mine is so popular. Yeah, but it's it's popular as a song. I don't think it's popular as a meme. Uh. Yeah, I mean there are a lot of memes about Guns N' Roses. The Axl Rose and the Slash thing. Hmm. Yeah. ACDC is kind of big though the uh, uh, thunderstruck songs highway to hell that's everywhere yeah hmm yeah those songs are everywhere oh wait wait i i just found this uh do you remember that meme where there's this guy with stars on his head this guy is so weird it's actually just easier to listen to a song than, than try and explain what's happening <laughs> Never heard it. Okay, search uh, uh, Vitas uh, Seventh Element. V I T A S. Oh yeah, yeah, Vitas Seventh Element. No, I've never heard this. Dude, the 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 thing about this, right? This guy is a, like a really good uh, operatic singer. Like he has he has one more song which is equally as weird, but he hits like really high notes in those. Mm-hmm. But his his whole style is just so weird. Mm-hmm. He's only known for this. Uh, right. I think "Turn Down for What" made actually made a pretty good meme song, right? Hmm. And uh, there was this one called "Crab Rave," which released in two thousand eighteen. I haven't heard "Crab Rave." Oh, no, that song that. is good. That song is real good. "Crab Rave" by um by Noise Storm. It's all these crabs dancing on the beach. Ah, okay, that makes more sense. Talking about. Wait. 
Cra- I, I guess talking about crabs. Uh, do you remember uh, Crazy Frog? Mm, oh yeah, dude, that was that was a big meme. Yeah. Do you know the cra- Crazy Frog or like that artist actually put out three albums? Really? Under the name of Crazy Frog, yeah. He put out three separate albums. Oh God. There's only one which has actually come out till now. Thank God. Dude, um, <laughs> you remember uh, Staying Alive, right? Oh, yeah. Bee Gees, yeah. dude. Come on. One yeah. of my favorite bands of all time. Yeah. That's kind of a meme, though. Yeah. Sort of. Sort of, yeah. But it, but it was like a really big song at the time as well. Right? It Everyone is still was a like, really big song. Everything. I listen to it like every week. Oh, ah, yeah. Every week. pretty much yeah uh bj they had uh, uh i i think that song and that entire album actually became big because of the uh, john travolta movie that it was oh. uh, associated with is it i just yeah. read that feel good uh, ink is a mean song oh yeah this by uh, 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 monkeys it's or not, uh, uh, gorillas, gorillas right ha ah, yeah yeah like that gorillas. band too. I've never actually uh, listened to this stuff. Like I've always like seen that stuff in like videos and everything. No, I, I used to do that, but then I heard Feel Good and Kids with Guns and two those are two beautiful songs. Hmm. Who are they like? Like uh, which artist are they like? Um they're probably a cross between RHCT and uh, because of the bass lines and uh, I don't know. They're they remind me of RHCT though. RHCT. Mm-hmm. One more weird segue. We're talking about bass lines. Uh, do you remember this uh, uh, duo of EDM producers who used to wear those big helmets? Hmm. Daft Punk. Daft Punk. There you go. That's the name. I forgot that name. I like that band. Their bass lines in their songs are so good, man. Speaking of bass lines, you should listen to Flea. You should listen to Flea. Flea. Yeah. Red or Chili Pepper. Flea. the whole oh. band is based on bass group i mean most of it oh. rhcp just like uh, guns n roses is one of those uh, metal bands that's avoided me all uh, right oh yeah like almost every good band is just walk no, down like, your way right yeah like good bands like system of a down iron maiden metallica uh, right. all those are yeah, there that's- Yeah, that's Guns good. and Roses. Half of ACDC stuff I've missed off completely. Hmm, ACDC uh, and I missed. Yeah, so like, cause at some point it's just like there's too many bands, man. Makes sense. If you're thinking of uh, meme compilations, you should check out DV Five or Four. He plays the bass, and hmm. dude, his his video titles are beautiful. I went to Russia just to play this song. Speaking of that, listen uh, to uh, Rasputin. Oh yeah, dude, dude, the uh, guy in uh, Boniam is so weird. Every song he's just doing his own thing. Apparently, like, he everyone dancer. else. He, apparently. Yeah, yeah, he's a dancer. The guy with the beard, no. In uh, Boniam, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, apparently, uh, I read something about this guy. So wait. Uh, I I actually read something about this guy dude. Huh. But that song is iconic. Hmm. Oh, but also the um the guy itself hmm. just is like his like performances in the video on stage. It's like those three ladies just like. Have practice and they just come on and he's like, yeah, just two minutes, guys. And he just goes to the room, takes a lot of white powder and then just jumps onto the stage. Do it. <laughs> so apparently, uh, Rasputin was uh, this uh, Pritam got rights for Rasputin and remade it in Hindi in Agent Vinod. I heard that and I was like, all right, never mind. Uh, Dude, I thought it'd be good enough. Who's the guy that? Dude, who's the guy that uh, remade uh, uh, Masakali recently? Uh, what? 
I heard that, but I did not know it was. No, I had no clue. I don't know if it was Pritham or uh, someone else. Like Bollywood has like these three or four like big uh, producers that just make remakes. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that's. I mean, yeah, they made Hamma Hamma as a remake. They made Masakar. Yeah. They made that Tamma yeah. uh, Tamma Logi also. That that oh, yeah, yeah, that did, Malayalam yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. They But Bollywood is weird, man. Like modern Bollywood music has not become a meme, you know. Till now, it's just it's just been too bad to become a meme. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, 1999 or something. Uh, Dalal Mehndi released that song. Now. Yeah. Dude, that video is like also like a weird trip, man. It's just him cutting. He's going to all music. these different places and dancing, no? Yeah. I think every Indian stereotype is kind of based on that song. Yeah, it's a guy wearing a turban dancing. Yeah, dancing only to that. That guy. and uh, that and that uh, other one, Mundia to Bachke Rai, that one. I have not heard that. Oh yeah, 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 I heard that. I know what you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That song. I think uh, Beautify is uh, T series. Uh, what's that song? Dude? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the one that got Bitch banned Lasagna. also. Yeah. That is a beautiful Which song. Which lasagna? Yeah, that's a nice song. That was like the entire song was like a complete meme song. Dude, I the, the I can't believe. Just... <laughs> But yeah, saying that you should actually check out Davy Five Hundred Four. So he's yeah, like, I, really I went really. to Russia just to play this song. I went to West Virginia just to play this song and all that. Talking he's about like, Russia. Ah, uh, never mind. That, that, look, see, that's a whole. Let's world. put our hand on our hearts for the best song in the world. <laughs> that means it, it just pops out of nowhere, man. Like anyone even slightly putting their hand near their heart or near their head. Just boom, cut to the Russian. I actually song. saw that on YouTube. Like I was just scrolling through YouTube right now, and I saw that um, that uh, this one. Um, what was that song called? Uh, wait, 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 wait. I think it's. I think it's just called. Talinka. Uh, US S R T. Oh yeah, yeah. No, but there are two uh, different songs. Yeah, yeah. I know it's two different songs. Both of them are equally beautiful. Yeah. You remember, like most so of us had weird. in school, we would have like the French national anthem by heart, because all these French students would celebrate their Independence Day, and they would sing the national anthem. Did But we? Most of us, yeah, yeah, you did not know that. So we had second language uh, French in school, right? So on oh. June fourteenth or something, that was. When did you have second language French in school? Which school did you go to? I Ask went to the same no. school you did, dude. When did you have French, da? I mean, yeah, we had I mean, Hindi and Kannada and. Uh, uh, no, no, what's wrong? We correct, did have it. French. We had French. We had Hindi, Sanskrit, Kannada. French was there, and then German also was introduced. We did not have those two languages. Oh, you did all, not man. have. That's your problem. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, like dude, dude, we were given three languages, out of which two we would have learned just by being in India, and the third is an ancient language which no one speaks anymore. Yeah, dude, I learned Sanskrit like, three years, and I'm horribly bad at it. No, also, what's the point? You know, but like, yeah. Anyway, we had we had like French, and then um, they would celebrate their Independence Day and all that, and they would sing the national anthem in the assembly. And like by tenth standard, so many of us had actually learned the national anthem by heart, and we were not even French students. Wow. Yeah. For me, like the. French national anthem is that song by uh, that band. The um, no, it was a song about the it was a song about the uh, French Revolution, and it was by this band that made it. And and the only reason I know it is because uh, uh, one of my classmates sang the song in front of everyone. Uh, uh, in the uh, I don't know how to pronounce. In assembly. Never mind. Uh, So it's like a famous uh, U.S. band only. Wait. Oh. Coldplay. There it is. Coldplay. You mean him for the weekend? Yes. 
That's about the French Revolution. No, 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 no. They had a, a song about the uh, French Revolution. I don't know what it's called. Uh, oh, Viva La Vida. Yes, there it is. Well, I think that's Viva La Vida is what the song's called. I hope so. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So that's about the uh, French Revolution. So uh, during the French Independence Day or like the French uh, uh, Revolution uh, anniversary, mm. we would have that song uh, played uh, back in back in like our days uh. before French was introduced as a selectable language. All right, all right. Stop the shit. This is my thing now. <laughs> Yeah, sure. We we all know you to pick Sanskrit or like Hindi anyway, so it's fine. Your French and German DLC. This okay. is my thing now. Sure, sure. sure. Talking okay. about coming back once again to the meme part. Yes. Who's your favorite artist that uh, became a meme? Nick Cassidy. <laughs> you can't give the same answer for everything. Okay, George Michael. Same different one. George. Wait. Which one will you become? Like, you will be like a meme mode well. then. I'm not a proper big name. Kelly oh, Musco wasn't uh-huh. that much of a meme also. Oh, aha, aha. Have you heard aha? Yeah. Yeah. Take on me. Yes. I'll take on George Michael's leader. Yeah, see? You said not George Michael, hmm. so I gave you like a whole bag. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I not like I'm going to <laughs> change my answer now. Like, oh yeah, that's. What about you? Change it again. I mean, I'm. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, Mom's spaghetti, dude. Oh, <laughs> I've never heard that. You've never heard that song? No, I've never heard that. Lose yourself! Oh my god. Oh, uh, lose Have yourself! You yeah, I've heard it once. I did not know there was a song called Mom's Spaghetti. <laughs> there is no song called Mom Spaghetti. How Mom Spaghetti know that? became the big thing. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you know what? I saw these coronavirus memes and then I was like, how, why, why did Eminem? And then they were like, he ate his mom's spaghetti. And I'm like, huh, that doesn't make any sense. And I'm like, okay. Dude, the Eminem did an amazing thing. Okay, on like his uh, 20th uh, anniversary of that uh, song releasing, right? He uh, sent out uh, packages of uh, uh, spaghetti to the uh, local doctors and uh, nurses. And on the package, he wrote, uh, Mom's Spaghetti. He did that nice. Yeah. And he wrote, like, Mom's Spaghetti on that. And then just sent it to every doctor, every nurse in the nearby area. Of, That's I think, actually uh, pretty cool. Detroit. And also that uh, other song, the uh, uh, It Looks Like a Job for Me Mean. Huh? That's him only. Check it out, dude. It's like an, uh, an amazing collection of songs that he has. Mm-hmm. Especially like his recent work where he's where he's just decided like I'm going to sing without taking a breath. Screw it. Oh, uh, I've, <laughs> I've lived a good life. I'm just going to rap now. Rap God? No, he, he's had more, no? Uh, other one was like uh, uh, Not Alike, which was from his previous album, which came out. Oh. And then his uh, latest album, he had one more. Which is just like he's just getting faster, dude, with each and every album. I think one day he's just going to put out an album where there's no music, it's just him speaking for like two hours. <laughs> that sounds like something you would do. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, it would be, dude. Yeah, I'm you and Shiva, you'll have talking albums <laughs> <laughs> with Eminem in between. Sure. He's coming and raps, dies, then goes away. Why not? Why not? You can do that. After I get my cash from Vince Pickman, I'll be using that on him and I'm only. You can do that. Sure. Oh, man. Anyhow, it's okay. a good episode. I will keep Yes. And, and to end up, let's. And to end up, one uh, underrated meme, which you think, one underrated meme song, which you think more people should listen to. Smash Mouth. So you can't say Smash Mouth. You can't say them. They're all well known. Underrated. Uh, I don't think All Star gets the appreciation it deserves. But it's not underrated. It's very famous. It is underrated. I'm sorry. 
It is so famous. Everyone knows Smash Mouth. It is underrated. All Star is an underrated. Everyone knows Smash Mouth, dude. Yeah, more than everyone should. That is a great song. It's <laughs> iconic. Exactly. So it's not underrated. It's a great it's, song. It, it is underrated. Like the the amount of Smash, uh, the amount of appreciation people should be giving uh, an artist like Smash Mouth, is not the appreciation mm. we're giving uh, Smash Mouth right now. Hmm. What about uh, you? my uh, is uh, it the guy that made uh, uh, pen pen apple pen apple pen oh pico taro yes he released his, a new song go listen to it it's cancerous <laughs> i just think that that one meme should have been around for a bit longer he made a song called oj you should listen to that also is it about orange juice or, yes. it, or is it about oj simpson no no orange juice it would have been more funny for us about oj simpson no it would have been more orange juice this him talking about the corrupt legal system uh, about how the rich get away with all the crimes the guy talks about like fruits and all okay him alone in his golden jumper <laughs> yeah he's got that golden jumper like goro machima from yakuza <laughs> zero like, these guys should talk about like serious legal stuff man it be so much fun no so dude no no in the, the whole world. point of it is he probably comes and talks about like orange juice what the other song he released uh, and i, I like I, his I, um, credits you know in the beginning it's really nice we should also do something like that yes it also his name is kazuhito kosaka uh, and he's done tv shows oh my god this is more cancerous than i thought <laughs> um okay there's pen pineapple apple pen oh do that song was so popular yeah. wow um i have a pen i have a okay okay pen. see listen <laughs> listen i'll mute you i host the meeting i'll mute you i'm recording it on obs on my side as well oh. he did some hand washing video for uh, covid 19 or like ah uh, it's called take it, it. it it's called take it take it don't listen to it right now Take it, take it. Yeah, it's called Take it, take it. It's cancerous. Isn't there a pop song called uh, Taki Taki? No, we will not get into that right now. That's another <laughs> word. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, this has been a good episode. This was the Basic Table podcast. If you want to hear something on the podcast, or if you want to do an episode with us, feel free to write to us or comment in the comment section below. Also, click on the links below if you want to guest with us. Uh, if you want to do an episode as a guest on the Basic Travel podcast, do write to us or comment in the comment section.